All right, Chelsea fans, welcome back to another episode of the London is Blue podcast. Uh, look, we've, we've got the Matt Law special today, and that's that's what you're here for. But before we get into that, before Matt jumps in, all right, uh, it is the week of Thanksgiving here for us in America. And uh, we wanted to take a quick opportunity uh, to just share some things we are thankful for uh, around the Chelsea community. All right. And so um, a lot more to come with Matt and everything we get into. But right now. I will just lead it off. We are so thankful for the listeners that we have to our podcast. The lifeblood of what we do is definitely uh, comes from our ability to engage with you and have fun conversations after the podcast about what was discussed because um, just watching Chelsea for 90 minutes once or twice a week is not enough for us. And apparently it's not enough for you either. So we, we love that relationship we have with you. And then the broader Chelsea community, right? The, the people that we've gotten to meet, uh, the people we've gotten to connect, it is just uh, the the main kind of reason behind what we do is to build the Chelsea community to be as big as we can. And we just look at our role is to bring more people into the fold so we can have more Chelsea fans in this amazing community. So for you two, uh, a huge thank you, uh, a special place in our heart. But um, Nick, minus pumpkin pie, you also have a lot of room for your great things in your heart. That is right massive massive heart over here ready to roll um gobble gobble everybody it tis tis the day uh i think i think for me it, you know this has obviously been a, a really stressful tough year for a lot of people um it, it's important that you know we're all safe and healthy and we're able to make it you know, back to the bridge at some point together uh, as, as a large supporters group. So I would just encourage everybody to stay safe. I know these holidays are probably not going to be ideal for, for many out there. It's certainly not going to be ideal for me personally, um, but it's a small sacrifice uh, to, to have uh, more in the future. And I think uh, if, if you are going home, if you are going to be around friends and family, just be as safe as you can. Uh, there are a ton of healthcare workers out there who have been doing uh, the Lord's work for uh, a number of months now, and they, they need our support and they need a break. Um, so just want to encourage that. I know it's a not, not a Chelsea message. It's not the most uplifting message, but um, it, it's, in, it's an important one, right? Um, and I, I just want to thank all those frontline workers who have been you know, delivering my groceries this year as I didn't want to go to the store or whatever. Um, I think it's it's all really uh, important to kind of put everything in perspective, Dan. So uh, that's what I am thankful for. I mean, there's a lot to be thankful for. I think uh, anyone who's had good health this year is something that you can't take for granted, uh, not in any year, but even maybe more so in this year. I, I'm super thankful for, for you two. I mean, I think we think about, you know, just in the isolation, right, of, you know, even, uh, you know, being here with my, my spouse, you know, you kind of get into using the same space and being in the same area and getting to talk about Chelsea. I think one of the reasons we did so many shows during the lockdown period to begin with is because we were missing that that social connection that we were getting every day with with going into work. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that you, uh, after the fact, remember my birthday and uh, got me a very nice bottle of bourbon uh, for birthday week and for the holidays here. So that was wonderful. After um, the fact. I found out it was your birthday <laughs> on LinkedIn. What are you talking about after the fact? <laughs> you wrote the damn script. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you, thank you, Dick. Um, but you know, I think the other the other one I want to thank people for is just you know we have such an as Brandon kind of teed te- 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 it off an amazing group of listeners who you know have risen to the occasion on times where we've maybe pointed a spotlight on things and uh, you know this time this year you know the start of the pandemic with feeding America and then uh, during some of the you know. Uh, tougher times kind of tackling racial injustice and uh, police brutality with some of the Black Life Matters uh, charities that we kind of helped to do some fundraising around uh, blown away each time and there's definitely more that we have on our list of things that we want to accomplish and and do with those this year but uh, it always amazes me just how how much people want to support those things how much people will kind of rise to the occasion and uh, it just it's truly inspiring. Yeah, I mean, like there, Brandon, there are no more thoughtful 
a generous group of supporters uh, in the podcast world than than ours. And I think even as people were struggling this year, you know, we, we got we got texts and, and messages from people saying, "Hey, I don't have a lot, but I'm willing to donate something because I'm I believe in this." Right, and that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, very very powerful and inspiring inspiring to to hear that and to see it come to life. So again, if you've engaged with us, if we've participated in in hanging out in some form over the season, if you supported a cause, again, just thank you. And we also want to encourage you to go tell people in your life that you're thankful of them as well. Let's continue to pass this forward. We don't need it back to us, okay? We want to push it out and we want you guys to continue to push it out amongst your circles. Uh, your family, your friends, someone who has done something to make your life a little bit easier this year, uh, please do take the opportunity to thank them um, and share in the positivity that uh, they can come from from this time of year, especially as we head into, you know, the holidays with with Christmas and and the other holidays, I guess I should say that that are around this time. It's a we want to bring some positivity back in the world right now. So thank you, listeners. and, And without no, nope. no. Oh, I oh. got, I got a, I got a final oh. gift. Oh, all right. I got a final gift, a little teaser, if you will. Uh, we have been teasing merch for some time, uh, be, because of my laziness and my laziness alone, we have no. not achieved it. But it's coming. We are getting much, much closer. We did a little mini review this week, and we're really excited about some of the stuff that, that's coming down the, uh, uh, the shop and and you know all the different options that we have. So hopeful that in the next week or two that we're going to be able to stand something up and and hopefully have some merch options out there for fans who have been waiting a very long time (laughs) for this thing so i wanted a little gift a little gift a little gift that's how not how we should end it though it's the 90th minute of the thanksgiving feast Mm. there's one serving left Mm. of every side no every side imaginable what are you going to Mm. You're first up. I am in the spot. Yeah. Okay. I'm in the spot. Let's see. Because you've had such a big plate and it's heavy. I'm probably going to go. I'm probably going to go stuffing again. I'm going Mm. back to the well. Because calories don't count on Thanksgiving. (laughs) Brandon's going to go with a nice salad, obviously. That's (laughs) that's where he's going to go. Look, honestly, at the end of the day, you need to think about digestion, all right? <laughs> you just <laughs> piled in. You need something. like, because uh, I Look, I, my favorite just go-to in general is, I'm not going to say it's my last serving, always the mashed potatoes, right? That's a lot of starch. That's it's going to cause a lot, of, a lot of digestive enzymes to be produced in your stomach to help, help get through that. But look, I'm always a big fan of the classic mashed potatoes. No gravy, just butter and salt. I'm good. Mm-hmm. It, has, it has to be stuffing. Two, two to one decisive victory for yep. stuffing go on for this it. podcast we stand stuffing happy thanksgiving everybody. we'll go stuff your faces enjoy yourselves